Hi, this is David, and I'm back talking about Azure Search again. Azure Search is a tool that allows you to index your own private content and expose that through as a search engine in a similar way that search engines like Google and Bing will allow users to access uh, to search for data that's across the entire internet because they've they've uh, indexed large parts of the public internet. Now, did in the last video, I showed you how to create a search service, how to import data, to create a date, an index on that data, and then to run that an index or to actually execute that index against that data. Um, and I, I've got that up here. I, if you haven't seen that video, I recommend you go back and look at that one. It's about 10 minutes long. Uh, now I'm going to show you how to actually your users can actually use this thing here. So I've got the search service up right here, and I can see you can see that there is. As I refresh it, there are 497 documents. That's the number of rows in this table in Azure Storage. And this has information about presentations that I've given over the years, including the topic of the presentation and the, uh, the city and state and country and the name of the event and the presentation date and so on. So all that information is in here and I have used search to index it. I've created one index and one indexer. I can I haven't scheduled here, but I go back here and modify it if I wanted to by clicking on edit. But what I want to do now is I want to expose it. There are a couple ways of exposing that. Um, one is a REST API and the other is through a .NET SDK which just simply calls the REST API. It's just a wrapper for that API. So I can also do this in the portal and in the Azure portal if I click on Search Explorer then it brings up another wrapper for the REST API. In this case it's just sending a GET request to an HTTP endpoint. Here's the endpoint right here. It's HTTPS colon whack whack the, whatever name I gave this search service dot search dot windows dot net slash index slash the name of my index slash docs question mark the version number and that's the current version number ampersand search equals and then you can put a search term in here like for example I talk a lot about um, Azure and if you click on search then it'll return in JSON all the things that have the word Azure in here and there's a bunch of them I talk about that quite a bit alright or if I wanted to talk about oh uh, visualization I have a talk that I do many times over about data visualization. And so we'll see that in there. And this, is, this isn't very flexible, but it, it does show you that here is the URL that you're hitting with a GET request via HTTP using REST. If you want to use the POST API, you have a little bit more flexibility when you post to something. And Azure Search Service does expose a, an API that allows you to post as well. But you can't use it through this portal. You have to use either write code to do it or use a tool like Fiddler or Postman to do that. And that's what I'm going to do. And you can get Postman, just search for Postman HTTP in here. And there it is, getpostman.com. It's a free tool that you can download uh, from, uh, it's a, I don't know who maintains it, but um, it's available for testing. And I've already run that thing on here. So I have Postman installed already. Here it is right here. It's an interface where I can just simply type in a URL right here. I can specify what the verb is, whether it's get or post or put, etc. Um, so I'll select post in this case. And I need some information. I can set some, some query string parameters, some headers. I put things in the body. Um, and I'll get a res when I click send, I'll get a response back. So I need a, a bit of information from the portal about my service. If I go back to here, I need this URL right here. That's important. So I'm going to copy that and I'll just open up Notepad and save relevant things right here because the URL is going to be this, the name of this, and remember I said it actually be more like what you see in the search explorer. It'll be closer to this right here. Actually, I'll copy that with that icon. Closer to that right there. So if I go back to here, then uh, I need that. 
Uh, another thing that I'll need is I will need a key. Now there are a couple kinds of keys here. I trust you guys, so I'm totally showing you my primary admin keys and my secondary admin keys. You could come in here, you can make changes to this. However, I'm going to delete this service as soon as this video is done, so that will do you no good. Um, this is if you wanted to use the REST API to actually change, you know, add, create a, a new service or import data, you'll need those keys. But um, I did it all through the portal, so I didn't need to do that. What I want are these query keys. Query keys you can give to the users, and they are less secure because they're less powerful. So right here, this key right here is something I'm going to need. That's my API key. For that right here. And the other thing I'm going to need to know is the name of the index. And that's right here, Azure Table Dash Index. I'm going to copy that and save it as well. Uh, so what I need to do is uh, go into Postman right here, and the URL will look almost like this right here. Um, we're going to start with HTTPS colon whack whack the name of my Azure search service dot search dot windows dot net and then it, beyond that will be indexes slash Azure table index slash docs. What's missing here is I need to slash search for the post and then this query string right here. So what I'm going to do, just that part of the query string, slightly different URL than what we had for our get. So in here, I'll paste all that and it's smart enough to put API version in here and uh, I'll put slash search right there. Uh, with HTTP, you also have the option to add headers, and I do need those headers. I need to add uh, headers. Headers are always name value pairs. The first name value pair will have a name of API key and a value of this right here, our key, our query key from our search service. And the other one will be the content type, and the content type is pretty common, so Postman actually adds that as a drop-down, and the it also adds application JSON right here, since that's a very common content type right here as well. And finally, in the body, in the body, I'm going to add some uh, some JSON right here, and this will be things that will tell it. What fields do I want to return? What? Uh, how do I want to filter? How do I want to sort? Things like that. I can specify all of that here. So, select. If I say select colon star, for example, then it should return everything, all my rows, all my data, just in some natural sort right there. But I can add, add to that if I want to filter, for example, filter colon state equals IL. That should work right there. And I need quotes around IL because it is a string. So I'll use single quotes here. And there we go. Now everything that's returned is only where the state is Illinois. Right here. And maybe I want to also sort that. So I can do order by colon, um, how about uh, presentation date? And I'll sort in descending order. And so there we go. So I'll sort it by, there's 2018, the 9th uh, September, and then May, and then April, and so on. It's a descending order with this filter opposed. So here we've actually calling with the REST API and just about any language and any um, platform, any operating system can make these HTTP requests. Uh, depending on what framework you use, you just want to make an HTTP request using a URL similar to this with your Azure search service, with your index name, and then you would specify the parameters that you want to pass in in the body of this through an HTTP post. This is David. Thank you for watching.